Archimedes and the Door of Science by Janine Bendrick, Chapter 11 The Sphere and the Cylinder Archimedes considered his work with spheres and cylinders, and the many discoveries he made about them, to be the most important of his life. He wrote about the areas and the volume of the spheres, and cylinders, cones, and pyramids, and all planes and solid figures related to them. Do you know the difference between a plane and a solid figure? A plane figure is flat, like those drawn on a page. They have only two dimensions, length and width. The solid figure has three dimensions, length, width, and thickness. The sphere is the solid of a circle. The cone is the solid of a triangle. The box is the solid of a rectangle. The cube is the solid of a square. Of all Archimedes' discoveries, this was his favorite. If you took a sphere and made a cylinder whose base was the greatest circle of the sphere and whose height was the diameter of the sphere, the cylinder would take up one and a half times as much space as the sphere. Its volume would be one and a half times as much, and if you measured the surface of the sphere and the cylinder, the surface of the cylinder would be one and a half times larger than the surface of the sphere. Archimedes said that the ratio or relationship of the cylinder to the sphere was three seconds. He thought the discovery was so important that he wanted this figure placed on his tomb. When Archimedes set his two books on the sphere and the cylinder to Alexandria, he played a practical joke on his friends there. Mis mistasting some of his results to see if he could catch them napping, he said he did it to deceive those vain geometricians who say they have found everything but never give their proofs and sometimes claim that they have discovered what is impossible. Did the mathematicians of Alexandria catch him in his joke? Probably some of them did. Archimedes' methods, the way he set his problems down and then proved them, has been very important to all the mathematicians who followed him. It gave them a logical way to start any problem, an orderly way of setting things down one by one, discarding false statements and proving true ones, until they had reached a conclusion. Someone once said that his method was like the tactics of the master of strategy who forces everything, who foresees everything, eliminates the unnecessary things, masters every position and every possibility, then, in conclusion, strikes the final blow. When Archimedes works, when Archimedes, working by his method, wrote down the proofs one by one, everything seemed so simple and logical that people could almost be convinced that anyone could have done it.